Hello all, welcome to BISPTrainings.com. My name is Amit and today I am going to show you live how to connect multiple data sources and prepare a report. This term is called in Tableau is data blending. So let's understand what exactly it is. What is data blending? Data blending is meaningful when you have multiple data sources and you don't want to bring them to a common source. So it gives you ability to bring data from multiple sources and it appears to the user as if it's coming from a single source. And the most beautiful feature about it, you don't need to write a single line of code. Without writing a code, you can bring data from multiple sources into a single worksheet. It appears as if they are joining based on SQL join query. So this gives you a simulation as if you are bringing data from two tables and applying a join criteria. This is a graphical presentation of it. To make it easy to understand, let's see a couple of examples. In the first example, the problem statement over here, my data coming from two different sources. One of my data sources is MS Access and another data source is Excel. The organization is not willing to bring the both data into common data source because my order detail is a personalized Excel sheet. So without bringing this data into my corporate enterprise warehouse or pulling the data into a common source, I like to prepare one, prepare one report. It appears to the user as if data is coming from single source, so it gives a one uniform view to my business users on one hand. On another hand, data is coming from two different sources and the whole approach doesn't require any kind of programming code. This is pretty interesting. Let's see how it works. Before we start building a report, let me show you our data source. Uh, our data source is sales order processing, which we work, we prepare in the previous sessions many times. I've taken a subset of it to make it easy to understand which has a couple of dimensions, time, product, region, store, and sales. Store and region basically they were parent-child relationships, so I denormalize them graphically, and region and store shows as a single dimension. Cardinality is one to many. From in one region there are multiple stores. This is my sales data. My order data is coming from Excel sheet and so the information about order data is like order detail from where the from which country order place, which city, what product for which product order place, which date order place, who was the manager, what mode of order, and various other information pertaining to the order. So I've got two different sources. I'm going to join them and prepare a one common report. Let's see how to do this. So as always, we'll first prepare database connection. I connect to my data source, MS Access, and uh, my sales data mart is my data source. I'll be selecting multiple dimension facts. I'll be using sales fact as a single fact table and continue to select my couple of dimension including my product, region, store and time dimension. It takes few seconds to bring this table into the system. Now I continue to select other dimension like product, stores, region, products and time dimension. Period day is the most granular element in period is day, day ID or each date. Okay. This is my one data source. Say OK. Because my data is pretty dynamic, I like to connect live. So the moment transition happens, I would be liking to know about it. I got created one data source. Now I'm going to create another data source. Go to data source option and connect to another data source. This time I use Excel sheet. My Excel sheet data is Excel sheet is order detail. And if you look at my data source carefully, you find the first row of my Excel sheet is a header row. The system asks you whether you have a header row or not. You need to specify yes, you have a header row. Select your data source, specify your data header row. First row is a header row. Say OK. I got two different data sources. Now, this also I connected to live. As you can see, I can toggle between two data sources. In my second data source, I have got some junk data. I'll look into that. Uh, in order to join two data sources, your system tabloid automatically recognizes a common dimension. But sometimes if, if, if it does not, you can explicitly define a relationship. Under added relationship, select your dimension. We have automatic and custom. I'll be using a custom option and select my dimension. There are more than one dimension common in this example, like product category, product category, product name, product family, 
basically product is a hierarchy dimension category family product line and and product name in addition to this we also have a region here we call this order country and order table order source and here it is a country right that's it I specify join okay when you join that then only you can bring data from multiple sources now I like to see I'm going to create a tabular report where I like to see what are different order details and which country for which product order was placed so I select my order category and place into my rows the different product so this is a product category for this product what orders are made from which country orders were made so you see order country is considered to be a geographical this uh, I can see a globe symbol over here this is geographical reason and system is your tabular is smart enough to recognize what type of dimension is a date string or the major depends upon the data type you specify in your Excel sheet so order detail order country is considered to be as geographic reason I drag and drop order country and you see I can further drill down from order country to order city as well the plus symbol allow me to drill down I've got some junk data over here so you see the plenty of records with null I select to this record and exclude it from my total row you may have some junk data especially when you bring in from Excel sheet and with respect to different product and what in different countries the order place I like to see the order amount so I drag and drop place over here this become pretty nice tabular report you can further play around with this and change the type of it you can display this in a uh, in in bar chart line chart stack chart format in addition to this you can also apply limit on a specific product country like I got product country and product city I like to apply filter on product country I like to see data only for specific country like USA I can confine my attention to only USA for a specific city in addition to this uh, you can also define the order details order date the typical order of order date the difficult view is year I can define I like to see year wise or month wise it seems I don't have any data for uh, year 2002 so you can play around the data in the same fashion as you bring data from single source and play around with this and if you know organize your information the way you like depends upon the user request so that's it for today uh, this demonstration give you a fairly enough idea about how to place multiple how to connect multiple data source and prepare a common report should you have any question please feel free to write to us or mail IDs or site address given over here bisptrainings.com thanks for joining today's session and have a great day ahead thank you